Joey Wentz is ready to go. So now here is Christian Pache struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. Rockies four. So to get his day started at the plate, Tristan Shaw comes in hitting just a hair below 300 this season. Tries to go the other way as this is in the air to left field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. At the plate now is Tristan Shaw. Flew out last time up. Slap hard the opposite way. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. You take a look at the numbers up to this point. You see he's only given up two hits so far today. So he's been hitting his spots all game long. Remains to be the seen if he can keep four. that shutout intact Short going stop. forward. But I'm not stop. betting against him. Swing and a miss on the changeup and there are two gone. Wow that's awfully impressive right there. The pitch before was really close. Called the ball. What does he do? He the comes back with a better ten. pitch Designated and gets the punch out. This is skied into short left center. He's under it, and that ends the inning. Angel Strand. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth, and set to go as the third baseman, Tristan Shaw. Hey, this is where you go up there and you just focus on doing your job. Turn the scoreboard off in your head. I know you're down a lot, but you have to have one. Four nothing to score this afternoon. The Rockies jumped out to an early the lead in the first cool. and never. We are under the lights here on a Friday night at Oracle. First base. So in now for San Francisco, Ken Grubb. Weak grounder down the line at third. Fielded cleanly. And a high throw, but he's able to keep anchored on the bag at first. And Second inning coming up, and Heidi Watney has an update for us on the weather forecast. Well, Matt, the grounds crew members that I talked to prior to the game said the weather we're experiencing right now is expected to move on as the game progresses. They said they'll put extra effort into keeping the field dry until this rain dies down. But despite it being a little wet at the moment, we should get this one in uninterrupted. Sure. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Tristan Shaw comes in hitting just a hair below 300 this season. Now a ball lined hard toward right center, but he will run this one down in right center. A tough L9 in the inning. Next, it'll be Tristan Shaw. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and that's through into center field. Base hit. One run is scored, and he is in there. Boy, talking about having ducks on the pond right there, D. Rose. I know everybody wants to hit a home run. Those are the ones you remember, but without question, Dan, two out, two RBI knocks with runners in scoring position right there. You remember these knocks. Chopper to short. He's got it. Throw on the second for the force, and the side is retired. So a man at second with one down, and that'll bring in Hunter Bishop. Hunter. 0 and 1 count, and the pitch. Softly hit to the left side. And boy, just about overshot his man at first, but he's able to keep a foot on the bag over there, and that's out number two. 
Up next, Tristan Shaw, runner in scoring position with Sugan. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. Angels get just. Now to bat, Travis Blankenhorn. Now batting, second baseman. 3 2 pitch. Popped up. Shaw will put this one away, and the side is retired. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Tristan Shaw. He's set, and the pitch. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a oh, win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of, of the next two, Angels, the series is theirs. Runs, eight hits, one error. They left 14 men on base. A truly gorgeous afternoon for baseball. So to get his day started at the plate, Tristan Shaw comes in hitting just a hair below 300 this season. First offering on its way. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. Scooped up on to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Next to dig in, Tristan Shaw comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. He makes the running play. Two down. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Tristan Shaw. Now the pitch. Hit in the air out to center field. Bishop has it, and it's a quick out number one. So here's Mike Zanino. Up next to the Giants. The catcher. Mike. Swing and a line drive. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Now it'll be Tristan Shaw. He flew out in his last AB. First pitch of the AB on its way. Grounded back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. Nice execution right there Dan kept his front shoulder in kept his hands inside the baseball and ripped the base hit up the middle and if you're a pitcher right there you can't get discouraged sometimes even when you make a good pitch the ball is going to find a hole somewhere that one right up the middle a swing and he pops him up on the infield and the infield fly rule will be in effect here and in steps Scott Kingery one for two on his line so far in the game. God. Swing and a blooper to the right side. And the inning will end as they're unable to cash in with two outs. Angels strand a couple as they're. Pretty efficient game right there. Low scoring. 2 nothing game, well played defensively on both sides. And a couple of runs is all it took in this one. They left 10 men on base. Daytime baseball here on MLB. So now here is Luis Avilas. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And there's a strike right down the heart of the plate, 0 and 1. These Angels, as they enter play here this afternoon, fellas, they've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Yeah, Maddie, without question. We, they find themselves in this position today. They got a chance to sweep the series on Sunday and make it a miraculous weekend. Boy, dear, well, it's always a nice way to finish off a weekend. You win a big game on Saturday, and to close it off with a win here and a sweep on Sunday would really be sweet for this ball club. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Batting second. Here's the first pitch no to him. Steven okay. Duggar comes on with one Duggar. away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. Throw gets him, two down. 
Mike Yastrzemski digging in at the plate. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. In there, strike one. And he fouls this one off. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Giants down in order. Whoa. Now the Giants' number four batter, Ken Grubb. And he won't bite on the palm ball in the dirt for a ball. One ball and one strike to the Giants' first baseman. Hey, if he's going to get swings and misses at balls up and out of the zone, he's going to continue to go there. Fastball runs in tight here, and it's two and one. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball, two and two. Yeah, he just wasn't on time right there. Front foot not down in time. Nothing happens before the front foot can get down. Elliot Ramos waits on deck. Left side, but well foul. The next three, two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that. But most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. On to first, and there were two down. And stepping in, Travis Blankenhorn. He's two for seven in the series so far. Well, they set up away, but the fourth ball stays out there for ball one. Fouled away. Hit on the ground to third. Rendon is there. Throw on to Guzman at first, and the inning is over. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Tristan Shaw. Two hits and eight tries for the series. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. DeGrom has hurled more than 1,700 innings in the majors during his career with a dominant sub-3 ERA, good by anybody's standards. Reined in. And boy, just about overshot his man at first, but he's able to keep a foot on the bag over there, and that's out number two. First delivery to him. The catcher. The 0 1 on its way. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 2. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Brandon Drury will bat next. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. One ball, no strikes to count. It's in there, and the Giants look to have an extra base hit on their first hit of the game. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year, but you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. And a strike to even the count. One and one. And it's fouled away. Here comes the one two. Hit out towards second. He's got it. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and both runners are going to be safe. This is a head scratcher. I mean, that's the shortest throw on the infield, and somehow he lets it sail wide of the mark for an E4. A couple more like that, and doubt starts to creep into the second baseman's mind. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0 and 2. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. And that'll bring up Steven Duggar. And they're runners at the corners now. Down on the shins and missed with it. Ball one. And couldn't get his hands through there, and it's one and one. Runners on first and third, two away. Fouled off. 
Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation. Of uh, we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Now to the plate, here is Mike Yastrzemski. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. In for a strike, it's one and one. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So the next to bat will be Ken Grubb. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. High and deep down the left field line. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now. 0 and 2. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. Got him to go down swinging there. Ken Grubb becomes out number two this inning. Elliot Ramos is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball. It's 1 and 0. Strike taken up in the zone. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Two out, nobody on. And that's going to be high two and two now. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. Over to first, and that retires the side. So here now is the pitcher, Tristan Shaw, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. One run, two hits, one error for the Angels so far. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. He's under it, and that ends the inning. So they go. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. I'm going to need to see a better game plan out of the hitter right here. That ball was at his eyes. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Fork ball misses, and it's 1 and 2 now. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at 2 and 2. Out in front of that one may have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. The 2 2 one more time. Popped him up. Rendon shading to his right. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. I know the fans love the souvenirs, but the battle between the pitcher and batter right here is what makes the game great. Another one sent foul. The 2 2 one more time. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Great AB up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. No walk so far. Here's the 3 2. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Okay, somebody's got to figure it out. Either the pitcher make a nasty pitch, or this hitter's got to put something in play because the guys up in the booth are getting tired. We're going to need a cup of coffee after this A.B. So he ran the fastball by him now for the punch it. out. Get Travis through. Blankenhorn is retired for the first out in the bottom half of the fifth. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Oh, straightened him up there on that fastball. It's one and two now. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Joey Bart becomes out number two this inning. Brendan Drury is at the plate as he looks at ball one. And even one and one count to Brendan Drury. I'll tell you, if I'm pitching right now, I'm not throwing anything near the strike zone until these guys prove they can lay off it. They're just being way too aggressive. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Liner toward right center. 
And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. He'll get it into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Jacob DeGrom. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, let's see if he can work a walk, maybe a knock, ground ball with eyes, something. Catch a gap to get this offense going. Two hits as a team can start demoralizing your confidence. But if he can get on and start some traffic in motion, he might have something. In now, Luis Avila, as he swings and lifts it in the air out to shallow right field. Hey, I'm not surprised right here this pitcher mixed in a knock. Playing in the National League, he gets way more opportunity to work on his craft from the offensive side of the ball. NL pitchers definitely have an advantage in these inner leagues. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. That misses 2-0. and oh. He's going to have to have a talk with the umpire after this half inning. Because if he's not going to get those calls, he's got to come a little bit more over the heart of the plate. And that usually means damage done. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. Stepping in once again is Mike Yastrzemski. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Can't waste getting the leadoff runner on in this situation. Someone's got to bear down and get a big knock. This is hit high and deep out to left. Reynolds is on the move for it. No chance to make a play here as this one's off the wall, and this could tie the game. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. Now so back. now to the plate. Hey, Ken Grubb yeah. strike one to start the oh. at-bat. No hits to this point. The 0-1 offering. A swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2 on 0 2 here he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit he's got a base open so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here now this is driven out to deep right center this could be trouble and this ought to play the couple as this falls down for extra bases Well, maybe the tables have turned a bit. Earlier in the game, the pitcher had his way with him, but he wins the battle this time. He's proven to be an awfully reliable reliever this season. He wraps this one up and collects his 20th save of the year.